Okay, now that we are in a little bit of a better position, let's talk a little bit. As you guys are aware, if you have been subscribed to me, if you've followed my YouTube channel, if you've seen other videos, you know, whatever, then you'll know that Jake and I moved into this apartment that we are currently in back in June of 2020. Um, and so we've been here for about a year and a half. And when we first moved here, it was great. It was a really nice place to live. The apartment was fine. We have no real major issues going on. And then about three months after we moved in, um, a new leasing company or a new property management company took over the apartments. And at first, you know, I was like, okay, that, that's fine, you know, whatever. Um, they gave us a little note that said they were going to be um, doing some renovations starting, I think, the following week. Um, it was like, I got a note on maybe like a Thursday or a Friday even. Um, and then like that next week they started doing stuff. So it wasn't a lot of lead time. At the time I was like, you know, th that's fine. They don't have to give us a lot of lead time, but it was just like, in hindsight, we probably should have seen like there were gonna be issues coming. They start by first painting the doors and the windows. Now I work from home and back in October of 2020, even a lot more people were working from home at the time. And they were so loud and noisy. And I get that, you know, people like the painters have to be on a schedule. But I'm talking about like people were singing outside of my door. There was loud music playing. There was a lot of like banging and just not a lot of care for, or I guess consideration for the people who were inside the apartments. They also... Um, put up papers and stuff all on our windows so we couldn't see out which was fine like I you know it only lasted for maybe a day or two but what really annoyed me was they shut in our door so I woke up one morning for work and I was taking out the cat's litter from the night before and I go to open my door and it wouldn't open and I had to yank it open because they sealed in our doors without telling us. And I get they have to do that to paint the door, but like let us know that you're gonna be basically locking us in our apartments because people did have to leave for things still. So that was kind of annoying. They finished the painting and all of that. Um, I thought they were gonna be doing stuff to the railing, but they only ended up doing that to the front buildings, like the ones that people can see from the streets. So, you know, that must have sucked for them, but thankfully they did, never did it over here. Um, but then, like, probably about a month after that, around Thanksgiving time, they started redoing the roof, which this they gave us no warning for. I saw them putting the new shingle, like, packages on the roof one day, and then we got a text saying that they were going to start the new roofing project. And that took about three months, four months, I want to say, of constant construction and noise and banging. Parking situation, they had dumpsters all in weird areas of the parking lot, so you never knew from one day or the next if, you know, cars were going to be able to get in and out and what the parking lot was going to look like. So that was just really frustrating. They started that, like I said, in November-ish, around Thanksgiving, and they finished, I want to say, the first week of February. So overall, it was about four months that construction crews were just all over all of the buildings, just being really noisy, doing a lot of stuff. At this point, Jake knew and I knew we wanted to move after about six months of being here, um, but we ended up having to push it back a half a year. We originally were going to move in June when the lease was first up, but we did sign an extended six-month lease, and that was a bit of a process because they kept saying, yo, I'm sending you emails, I'm sending you emails to do this new lease, and I never got them, and finally we were able to get the new lease signed, probably like the end of May. And I know a lot of these things, before I go further, I know a lot of these things are very like first world problems or not necessarily big things, but all of them make a difference to not being comfortable. When you're home, you want to be comfortable, especially for me, I'm home pretty much all day long um, working from home, and so I want to be comfortable in my area. Um, but moving on, another thing is we don't have in-unit washer and dryer here and we have to go to use the facilities that are on the complex grounds. The, com the facilities are usually dirty, not well maintained, and um, this is a gated community, but the gates are pretty much always open, so there have been times where 
homeless and just sketchy people have wandered into the, um, the you know, the laundry facilities on the complex property and my clothes have been rifled through before. I don't think anything has been taken from mine. Uh, but I know that people have gone through my stuff because the dryers don't obviously have a lock on them. And so when you open the dryer, you have to put your card back in in order for it to restart. You do have to pay for each washer and dryer load that you do. Um, and it was just frozen at like, and the dryers here run for 50 minutes when you do the kind of normal cycle of dryer. Um, sorry if you can hear Lance, he's playing with a box right next to the camera. Um, but our t dryer time was stopped, so they only were dried for about, you know, 20-ish minutes. And of course my clothes weren't dry, and at that point I just felt uncomfortable. And so I just took the clothes out and I laid them out in my apartment and let them air dry overnight. Like, and the, this is things that I'm constantly worried about when I have to go do laundry. Plus, being in Arizona in the summer, it's hot. Sometimes the laundry room that's right where we are, which is the one we're supposed to be using, is locked. And the keys that we have for our amenities at this place don't unlock the laundry door. Only the, like, leasing offices want, like, unlock it. And sometimes I'm starting laundry at, like, 8 a.m. in the morning on a Saturday when the leasing office doesn't open until 10 a.m. So it's just overall frustrating experiences. On top of that, because they were doing construction, I would constantly lose power and internet access for a good stretch of time. That got me in trouble at work because I didn't have any power, like electricity or internet, so I couldn't be logged in. And the apartment looks fine, you know, you've seen it in videos, but it's definitely a little bit of a cheaper upgrade that they decided to do. A lot of it is just kind of paint, and the flooring that they used is um, coming up in different spots in our, you know, apartment. And so it's just fresh. It's been a frustrating experience living at this particular place. And so I am happy to be moving. We are moving to uh, Chandler, Arizona. We are moving into a three bedroom apartment. We are getting a, another roommate though. Um, so it's no longer going to be just Jake and I, but I'm like, very ready and very excited to be getting out of this place soon. I know right now when I'm filming this, like I said, it's only October 9th. So I still have a month and a half to go until I actually make the move. Um, but I'm just excited that we have a place and that we know a date when we are going to be able to finally kind of start a nicer way of living um, that hopefully does not have as many frustrations. Our new apartment, which you guys will see in the tour, does have an in-unit washer and dryer, which I'll never move to another apartment that does not have an in-unit washer and dryer. So the next couple of clips I will try to film over the next couple of weeks as we pack up some other things. Definitely I'm going to be filming packing up my bookshelves, which are going to be one of the very last things that we pack. We actually ended up just hiring movers that are going to be hired, like moving like our big um, you know, couch and bookshelves and table and chairs just because we don't have a, you know, big truck to move those in. Um, and if I'm going to be hiring or renting a truck to move it, I would rather just have other people move it than myself, which is very, some people might say it's a little lazy, but hey, you know, people are I'm supporting different local businesses because it is kind of a small local business that we hired. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just excited to not have to move the big pieces of furniture. Everything else I'm going to be moving all these little boxes and all of my books and everything, I will be moving. But anything basically that doesn't fit in my car, that I physically cannot put in my car, is what the movers are going to be taking. So that's it. Um, thanks so much for watching this vlog. Um, I know it's just kind of started, but yeah, I will kind of be back to you again. I don't know the next time I'm going to be having a sit down clip for this vlog, but I am so excited that this move is finally happening. You guys have no idea. So until I speak to you again.
today we are packing up my video, my videos, my books. It is currently October 28th. Um, it is a Thursday night. I just got off work. It's um, 5.13, so I literally just got off 13 minutes ago. Um, but I wanted to do the books today because this weekend I am going to be busy, so I have to work a half a day on Saturday. Um, and then that afternoon I want to um, go just do some things like I'm gonna have to do grocery shopping on Saturday. Um, I do want to take another trip to Goodwill. There's also a few books on here that I know I want to get rid of. I did already get rid of a few books like two weekends ago. I can't believe it is less than three weeks until the actual move. Now for some people that sounds like a really far time, like long time away and why are you like packing up all these things super early? And I just love to be prepared and to do things super early so that way the day that we actually move on the 17th, we can just run right over to the apartment, get the keys, and I can just start moving things in. I have off all of that week, uh, or I have off from Wednesday till Friday. I took those days off. Those couple of days, I want to focus on the move. I also have to get our um, power like set up in the apartment for those days, um, as well as get our um, internet sent or like switched over. So those are going to be like closer to move date you know, things that I take care of. But right now what I can take care of is packing up the bookshelf. When I moved into this apartment um, last year in June, Jake and I bought two of these giant, um, giant, they're not that big, but they are just rectangular bins. So we had two of them when we moved into this place. And um, last weekend I went out and bought two more because even all of my books that I had when I moved in here didn't fit into two of these. There had to be more. And I want to be able to close them because we have the tops right here. Um, and so I want to have them be able to be closed. But I'm hoping that they all fit. I'm really nervous about it all fitting. So we're just going to see how much I can get to fit in these. Um, and then, you know, we'll take it from there. So
Okay, so I had to move you and then turn it off completely because the cats just get so fascinated by the camera every time I have it on or have it out anywhere. So let me actually pick you up. We're going on an adventure. But um, I'll show you the bookshelves close up. They are practically empty. Um, basically everything that's left on here I can't really pack up just yet. I'm going to be donating two of them are ARCs that I never read. And then one of them is a book of the month book that um, I thought was just like a regular mystery thriller. But I watched Gabby Reads do a um, like a vlog with that book. And she said that it has a lot of kind of dark, heavy topics, some of which I'm not comfortable reading about uh, specifically involving children so I was like hey, you know what I'm just gonna get rid of that the bins which are right down here um I did feel bad putting the books in there because they've been sleeping in the bins and they've been you know playing in them and hiding in them um oh god now that the bookshelf is empty they are going to be trying to jump all over it there's nothing much left you know as far as our bedroom is concerned, other than what's in the closet. Can you see links? Yeah, this um, uh, chair, my dorm chair that I've had for years and years and years, I put on an offer up to try to sell it and no one has wanted it. So I don't know what we're gonna end up doing with it because Jake really hates it and wants it gone. Um, I really want to sell it or keep it because he's like, if it doesn't sell, just like get rid of it. And I'm just like, no, like I, I really don't like to throw things away. Like I want them to be repurposed for something. And like, it's not a bad, you know, chair-ish. Like we could still use it for things, but I don't know. That's kind of it for now, right? Right now though. Um, I am... Um, uh, and then I cleaned off the bookshelves, you know, and it was very dusty. I dust them pretty regularly, but like the things that were on the top of the shelf and everything, um, yeah, which a lot of those like kind of stuffed animals and things, I actually fit into one of the bins. So I guess I should say I filled up three bins completely of books. The other bin was half full of books. So I ended up just putting the stuffed animals in there and that took up a good amount of space. That's it for now. I don't really know the next time that I'm going to be seeing you is going to be. So um, thanks for watching and I will talk to you in another clip pretty soon.